Selling SEO versus PPC services to businesses, which one is better? This question comes in from Jason, and Jason says, selling SEO versus PPC to small local businesses, which is a better business model? For example, say you have a client who pays, or who has three to $5,000 a month budget. If you sell them SEO services, that's basically three to 5,000 a month in revenue that goes directly to you. Whereas with PPC, the lion's share of the budget would actually be going to Google and Facebook to buy ads, leaving only a small percentage of that monthly budget, let's say 15, 20% in fees and revenue for the business to take, meh. Okay, so this is a really good question. And when you frame it up that way, I, I think you're leading in the direction that I should say SEO is the perfect thing to go with. And that may be the case, but let me talk a little bit about the difference between SEO and PPC and the type of companies that you'll end up working with. First of all, SEO attracts a certain type of company and that company is get something for free or inexpensively traffic because you either don't believe in your product or service enough that you would pay for advertising or they are not far enough along that paying for advertising would be something they have budgeted or maybe they just can't fathom the idea of paying for Google or Facebook's click fees and you know padding the pockets of these rich tech companies and they want to earn it right they want to earn it from these rich tech companies. So that, that's just one way to look at it is that, you know, SEO PPC or SEO could simply just be that somebody isn't far enough along their business where they believe enough that they would want to pay for something. And so in that case, yeah, you know, they, they would probably want you to do SEO. And if they do go with you, then, and they have three to $5,000 to spend, then they can spend it with you and you'll be happy. You'll make money and, and you would make more take home for that client than you would. But I just don't think it's an apples to apples comparison. First of all, there are very few companies that are going to pay three to $5,000 a month for SEO. That is between $36,000 and $60,000 a year. And what company is going to pay for that if they don't have some kind of evidence that that's going to make them millions of dollars as a result. And so your SEO service is really on the hook for making somebody millions of dollars or being a pretty high percentage of their overall spend that they have in their marketing to do SEO. And so a three to $5,000 contract is not the norm. It's actually something that um, very rarely would you land that. And you have to be pretty far along and have some really good marketing in order to get to that point. And so that is, you know, versus paid media, you know, we're talking companies that have a certain amount of money coming in uh, revenue wise, and, and they usually look at that as a budget item. So they're willing to spend 60,000 a month on their overall advertising, or even more than that, because they know that that's going to have a chance that it's going to make them that million dollars we're talking about. And so it's actually a lot harder for somebody to spend 60 grand in SEO to make a million dollars than it is through paid advertising. Otherwise, paid advertising wouldn't exist. If it were that easy to do it through SEO, then everybody would be doing it and there wouldn't be paid media. But of course, Google and Facebook have so much to lose by you not advertising, they make it hard. The algorithms are hard uh, to earn and to get out, you know, to get yourself out there. And so again, not apples to apples, the comparison. And so usually a company that's further along or that's, that's mature, that has budgets for marketing, has a marketing department, they're actually going to want to do the paid media because that ends up usually being a pretty big part of their overall strategy. And it's something they can count on. You can't really count on SEO. And so I don't know if it, it's something that I would say unequivocally, you should keep the money as much as you can versus paying you know some of that retainer to Google or Facebook. I just think it's a different client entirely. So I would say that a three to $5,000 a month SEO or retainer for a company you work with is this is the equivalent if you wanted to have an apples to apples comparison that's probably a company that's willing to spend 15 to 20 grand a month on paid advertising and then when you look at that and you do the math of percentages you'll end up being pretty much the same as there so 15 to 20,000 15 to 25,000 is really what a PPC company is to a company that would spend three to five grand on SEO so not a fair comparison to say I'm losing money by going in PPC versus SEO and in fact I actually think it's a lot easier to justify and validate any kind of retainer from PPC because that's a company that has a budget that is willing to spend money to make money versus SEO is a company who wants it for free. They want as much as they can get for as little as they can get. And so you're always going to be at this, this conflict with them where they want more out of you to pay less. 
and that's the premise you're under. And so I've actually never been able to really solve the SEO model in, in my case because I just went right to PPC and it was more lucrative and it was easier to sell for that exact reason. Now, the ones who are the most successful in SEO are either bottom of the bottom of the barrel, bottom feeders, spammers, you know, or they're the ones who go up market and they spend, you know, they charge 10, 15, 20 grand a month to do SEO because they're working with large e-commerce companies who can prove the value of all the link building efforts, of all the 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 activities they do in bottom line revenue or top line revenue, whatever, you know, both actually. And so not apples to apples. And in fact, um, you either want to go up market or down market with SEO. I think that three to 5,000 mark is, is actually pretty rare that you're going to find companies in that sweet spot. So you're going to want to do one or the other. And I think there are a lot more PPC companies that are in the sweet spot you're looking for, for PPC, at least from my experience. Okay. Hopefully that helps. Hopefully, uh, you can take what I'm saying and, and either apply it to what you're doing, or if you don't believe me, then just double down on what you're working with, because you're right. Three to 5,000 in SEO is better than three to 5,000 in, or in paid search. If 80% of that money goes to the networks. And so bottom line is if they only have that much budget and that's who you're, who you're sourcing, you'll have, make more money if you do the SEO than if you do the PPC. So hopefully if that's the case for you and, they, and you're using your real numbers, then you're good to go. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm.